After the release of the fall economic statement by Finance Minister Christian Freeland, I wanted to take a moment to share with you the good news. First of all, Canada is far from broken. In fact, we are thriving amongst other nations in the G7. Currently, Canada has the lowest deficit in the G7 and we've maintained our AAA credit rating. Unemployment is lower than at almost any point in my lifetime, that's 46 years. We've seen a massive drop in childcare fees and a corresponding increase in women's labor market participation, which is at its highest rate ever. We're third in the OECD in foreign direct investment, and we're projected to have the strongest growth in the G7 in 2024 by the International Monetary Fund. Now that is good news. While we're doing well in relation to other countries, of course, we absolutely recognize and understand that you are feeling the pinch, which is why we're taking unprecedented action to ease the burden. And here's how. We're strengthening competition laws to increase competition and stabilize prices, especially grocery prices. We're building more homes and waiving the GST on new rental construction. We're rolling out new housing accelerator fund announcements weekly, which is unlocking hundreds of thousands of new homes. We've added $1 billion to top up the affordable housing fund and offered $15 billion in loan financing for rental construction. We are cracking down on non-compliant short-term rentals like Airbnb. We're helping new buyers to buy a first home with a tax-free savings account. We've created the Canada Mortgage Charter to help protect those renewing their mortgage and worried about those elevated interest rates. We're also cracking down on miscellaneous bank fees. We're subsidizing daycare across the country to help working families. And we're implementing parental leave for families of adopted children. We're investing in creating good, clean, sustainable jobs for Canadians, which is another pillar of our strategy. We've attracted over $40 billion in investment, over 90 clean growth projects across Canada. We're taking action on aligning our financial system with our climate goals, and we're investing. And this is important. We're investing in Canadians from coast to coast to coast. This is all good news. We know that the past year has been a struggle for many of you, but you can rest assured that we are all working hard to make the changes necessary to make life more affordable while doing so in a fiscally balanced and responsible way.